Greetings, Nick Bogle with Sweetwater here, and I'm backstage at the Pavilion with my good friend Ace, and we've got a few minutes before Slash hits the stage, so he's going to quickly uh, run us through the rig. So take it away, my friend. Let's start right. with guitars. I'm Ace, and uh, here we are with Slash's rig on the uh, Living the Dream tour. Here we've got Slash's vault. Um, it's pretty much all different Les Pauls right now, ones they've sent us, um, different signatures we've had over the years, different Les Pauls he's picked up along the way. Uh, we do have the one ES1275 double neck he's using for one song out here. Of course, that's the six and 12 string necks. Um, all the guitars are strung with the new Ernie Ball Paradigms, 11 to 48, except the 12 string, of course, has another 12 string set on the, uh, on the double neck. And how many different tunings is he using on this run? On this run, we're all in E flat. Okay, Every, cool. Everything's E flat. Guns N' Roses, there's a bunch of different tunings and a lot more guitars involved and acoustics. Uh, but everything out here is E flat, except uh, there's one song we do uh, drop D, so drop C sharp on the bass. Right. Uh, that's not over here, that's stage right where I'm at. Um, but yeah, everything else is E flat. Uh, it's pretty, pretty straightforward. And as far as pickups go, same pickups in all the models? Yeah, um, I mean, when we get new guitars, he'll listen to them for a minute and then say, I want my pickups in it. Right. So it, his signature Seymour Duncans are in Everything. Almost everything. The 1275 has some different pickups. And then I think maybe one or two gold tops have, gotcha. have original pickups. There is the oddball that has some odd, different pickups in it, but nine times out of ten we get a new guitar. In his yeah, so by and large, so it's the gauges you've mentioned. Yeah. That, that brand, only Ball, and then the Seymours, the, the Seymour Les Pauls. The Seymour Duncans, the Les Pauls, the, you know, our Dunlop uh, 114 picks. There's right. a lot of different designs, but Always same 114, pick. right? Always. Always the same pick. Uh, always the same slides. Right. You know, there, there's parts in here that change, but the root part of it hasn't changed. Yeah, but so in a nutshell, the root would be Les Paul, Duncan's. Yeah, Les Paul, Marshall, Duncan's, Marshall's. And Wah. And a Wah, yeah. Uh, and then other stuff in between. So can you quickly. I see now we've gone back, you've gone back to the original JCM. Slash signature yeah, series we've we got did, a, the re first reissue back in the late 90s. Yeah, we've got some of the the, uh, the 90s reissues. We've got some of the original Silver that's Jubilees. That's a beauty. Yeah, that's an oldie. Um, then this is, of course, another 90s reissue. And in the other rig, we we you know we have some of the new Silver, Ju Silver Jubilees came out a few years ago. Those are incorporated into the rigs. Uh, we did have a lot in stock, so we didn't have to right. supplement with too many new ones. Yeah, I've seen the storage locker. It's, yeah. it's bigger than most stores, folks. A lot but, of marshals. But, uh, but the new ones do cycle in. You yeah. know, they, they fit right in with the old ones. Well, um, Santiago nailed it, didn't he? That Santiago did nail right it. right on the... And he actually right helped on me the, on the guns tour get one of these back up and running. He came out in Hong Kong. Oh, he's great, man. Saved my butt. Yep, he's a, he's a butt-saving kind of guy. He really is. So what else do we have here? Uh, so this is the brain of the whole operation. This was built for the Not In This Lifetime tour. So this is built for the Big Guns tour. Um, there's a lot of moving parts. The whole root of it really is still going to be Les Paul, Silver Jubilee. Uh, this is just sort of scaled up into a, you know, a stadium-sized rig. So we've got six channels of wireless, so you got enough for all your different guitars, acoustics. Actually, there's additional wireless that goes to the acoustic for the Guns <laughs> Tour. Um, wireless combiner, hum eliminator, all this RJM stuff. This is all MIDI switching. And then in the back of the rack, there's a lot of patching, little ISO transformers in there. It's a big mess of stuff that does really simple stuff. And he's using the rack wire, of course, so we can have several Yeah, we use the rack wire on this. It's, How many controllers on this stage? Uh, right now we're running two on the bigger stages. On a medium large stage, three. On a giant stage, four. Wow. Um, so like on the giant stadium shows, we'll run up to four watts. Gotcha. Yeah, one in each place, so we doesn't yep. have to run just, around. Just along the downstage edge pretty much. And in the drawers, are there any essential? I know he's been using the um, CAE boosters a lot. We've got driver. the CAE boosts. Those are one in front of. So th the way the heads work is there's two heads mic'd off stage. That's the main sound. And then there's one on stage cabinet that he only uses for feedback. So right. he'll go up to that gotcha. and it'll get switched on and then he could feed back. 
Um, the boosts are in front of the two. Are they on all the time or just for leads? They're switched on all the time, but they're not patched in all the time. Ah, I see, yeah, so, so they get kicked in for yeah, leads so or through, various rhythms. Exactly, so when we need the boost sound, you switch it on the MIDI and then it puts these loops in. With the good old ground control. Yeah, with the good old ground control pro. Uh, <laughs> super easy to work with, reliable. We've been using them for years. Gotcha. Um, in the other drawer, he's got, does he still have his um, analog chorus from Dunlop, which he's been using quite a lot? Uh, we're not using that in, oh wait, yeah, we are. Yeah. There it is. Da, There's da, our da. analog chorus. There's still a DD3. DD3, great. There's a DD3 there. We're also using these DD500s. Gotcha. Uh, these are in the effects loop of the amp. Gotcha. So they're used a little bit differently. No, it's so, so the, the DD3 is in front of the amp? DD3 is in front of the amp. So right. this will be used for like Slither and uh, Rocket Queen. Cool. Stuff like that that has a real pronounced delay and then it's dialed in. The DD500s are used for like slapback and stuff like that. Gotcha. And octave those are fuzz, of course. Octave well. fuzz. That's a signature octave fuzz. All, of course, it's, everything's switched on all the time and then brought in and out of the circuit via the MIDI switching. And the gate, of course, as well. Yep, that's just a straight up noise gate, another boost there. Now, is he using the 10 band in a, I know in the past he was using it in the effects loop of the Silver Jubilee. Is he using that in the Jubilee effects loop or is it? It's in front of it right oh, now. Oh, really? Right now to compensate a little bit for the wireless tone. Gotcha. Okay, so that's just, it's, it's almost like a buffer per se. Yeah, it's, it's pretty much like a buffer in, in the you know, tone shaping. Yep. And then these are the rack wall units. One's live, one's spare. They're dialed in to match the uh, his signature. The signature. The I think it's an SC95. Yeah. 90, Whatever it is. The, yeah. the cool, good-looking slash. The good-looking well. one that the paint job cost them a lot to do. <laughs> uh, yeah, the rusty, you know. Yeah, buff it looks pack. great. Yeah, it looks really cool. And then our controllers that are out there are painted that same oh, cool. same way to match. The, so, so they're cheap too, though. No, um, <laughs> not, nothing here is that cheap. No, I'm kidding. Um, and you don't want to be trying to build this at home. You, no, if you want to sound like Slash, fun. get a Les Paul and a Marshall and but leave But if you do, we sell all the stuff at Sweetwater, so go ahead, buy everything. If you're playing stadiums, this is your wah. You know, that's what you need. If you're not, you don't really need And then that. the last, <laughs> the most important thing that's often overlooked, the cabinets. Is he vintage 30s oh, still? Oh yeah, vintage 30s. Those haven't changed uh, in a long time. It's right. just Marshall Straits with vintage 30s. They're uh, mic'd and uh, got moving blankets off stage. So you get a nice tight sound. Um, yeah, those are super cool. Not much changes in the cabinets. And I guess the other thing we're missing is the hands and heart of the guy with the top hat. Oh yeah, none of this matters if, yeah. if it's not Slash. I mean, everybody says, I bought you know, this or that Slash thing and I don't sound like Slash. I'll pick up Slash's guitar and play through Slash's rig and I don't sound like Slash. So and then he does. Yeah, that's yeah. None of this. If you don't have him, this this will get you. This is all great stuff, but it doesn't play itself. No, it know. doesn't. Ace, we are done. Thank you, my friend. Thank Appreciate you very it. much, Nick. The check will be in the mail. Nice. I'm getting paid for this. Yeah, allegedly. Uh, Sweetwater, everything. Buy everything there. <laughs> Cheers. Free candy. <laughs>